It was a long ride home Tuesday night. Here I am on South Michigan Avenue. This bus was in worse shape than I was, but some help for the bus was on the way. After two hours, I had almost made it to Hyde Park until I hit the five-foot snowdrift. This was my car on Wednesday morning. It's hopeless. My husband, Peter Martinez, came out to survey the situation. It wasn't a pretty sight. Here at 54th Street and South Shore Drive in Hyde Park, the wind off the lake had whipped the snow into huge drifts. The big dig out began. But as you can see, progress was exceedingly slow. It wasn't much better for cars stuck around the corner on South Shore Drive. These are the cars on South Shore Drive that haven't gone anywhere since last night. Then it may be a few more days before any of them move. My neighbor, Nick Hill, had come to check out the intersection completely buried under the snow. Is there anything underneath you but snow? But there was a more serious situation across the park on South Lakeshore Drive. Cars that had been stranded from the night before. Is there anybody in it? Fortunately, the answer was no. But it wasn't all grim. Cross-country skiers were having a great time along with their dogs. Nick, with a half twist, onto the northbound lanes of Lakeshore Drive and friends walking along the lake. You guys having fun out here? What's it remind you of? Anything you've ever seen? The end of the world. <laughs> Been there before. Movies, like 2012. I got it. I got the news. The newspaper? They delivered yeah. it? It says that there's a blizzard in Chicago. <laughs> what time did it come? It came around 6 o'clock this morning. I heard the thump on the door. I couldn't believe it. The Sun Times and the Tribune. Neither snow nor rain nor hail <laughs> will stop the news from coming through. Good the job. Desert. When the sun came out, about one o'clock, things began looking a little bit brighter, but you wouldn't say that Hyde Park Boulevard was exactly a major artery, apparently. Not much plowing here. Meanwhile, Peter was still working on digging out the car. This baby is buried. That's the goal. Here's the car. going to be a while. Though the gate on the left was only about 20 feet away, it might as well have been 20 miles. The blizzard of 2011 had taken its toll on 54th Street. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Elizabeth Brackett.